Today we'll look at drawing grids and guides. Go to Actions, Canvas, then toggle Drawing Guide on. Tap Edit to open this menu of choices. With the 2D grid, you can edit the size, thickness, and opacity, as well as the color by using the slider at the top. The isometric grid gives you the same options. With perspective, you can choose one point, two point perspective, or even three point perspective. Just tap the surface to add additional points. With assisted drawing on, your lines will be restricted to draw to the perspective points. Each line you draw will follow perspective. If you toggle assisted drawing off, you can see that you have to determine where the line should go. That looks good. Now you can actually draw any line you want. This is not possible with assisted drawing on. You can also choose symmetry. Tap to open its options. You can choose vertical, horizontal, quadrant, radial. You want to toggle assisted drawing on. And at the end, we'll look at how rotational symmetry is different. In vertical symmetry, there's a line drawn down the center. Whatever you draw on one side will be mirrored on the other. Kind of cool. When we shift to horizontal, it mirrors top and bottom as opposed to left to right. With quadrant on, it's going to go in four different directions. So it's going both horizontal and vertical. And in radial, we'll work from the center out. This is a great way to build a mandala. Now let's see what happens when we have rotational symmetry toggled on. The line is mirrored, but flipped to the opposite side. Symmetry can be used to design something as simple as a heart or a complex pattern. Experiment to see how guides and grids can best work for you.